Welcome to Excel in 60 seconds. Today we're going to learn how to make conditional formatting to our data. In the first example, we will start with this pivot table where we have information for different stores, the amount of cars that have been sold on these stores and the amount of money earned. So the first step we are going to take is to click on the right button, sort from largest to smallest, and then we are going to select data. Once we have selected this data, only like this, we go to conditional formatting option, select data bars and choose the blue ones. And for the sales, we are going to select the red ones. If you have a most, more recent version of Excel, you should have way more options in data uh, bar visualization or representation. As you can see, we have a powerful tool to add some visual insight to our static uh, data or not static but without a format. The second example we're going to see uh, in case we have way more data making it harder to take any kind of conclusion from one site so we're going to select all these data within not the totals it's pretty important that you don't select the totals go to conditional formatting and select color scales and this way you can apply a heat map. In my case, I don't have the option I want, so I am going to select new rule. And as anything goes like this, I'm going to change the color for the lowest value to white and the color of the highest value to this kind of red. This way, the information will be shown taking the highest value will take a darker color and and the lowest value will take a white, white clear color. So this way we can appreciate how the information goes, how the trend works during the whole year. So this is it. Thank you for the video. Sorry for my English. And remember to subscribe and share. Bye.